So, Thibaut, first question is: uh, if you get an, uh, if you could get an answer to one question, what would the question be? Um, I think uh, I would like to know what I will be like in ten years or something like this. You know, it'd be interesting. So, Jochen, at what age did you start training volleyball? The best player in you position in history in plus liga uh, i started playing volleyball with uh, 13 years uh, and my school teacher started to bring me to practice and the best uh, opposite in plus liga history uh, well, <laughs> that's a lot of opposites <laughs> i hmm I know like how uh, how Grozer can play, so for sure he would be one choice. But I do think that, or I like to rate um, players like how good they play on, a, or how long they play on a good level. So I think uh, Rosli is uh, is probably the most steadiest and plays the longest in Plus Liga. So I would give him the this choice. Uh, next question, what human habits or characters, traits, are the most annoying to you? I think for me, when you try to have a conversation and the people don't listen to you, you know, they're just talking and, and don't listen what you have to say, like, yeah, so this for me is really annoying. So, next question, what motivates you to play volleyball? Uh, I think first of all the the fun and uh, the the will to have success. I think that's for me the the most because uh, um, I think it's a mix because when you are successful you have a lot of fun. So <laughs> that's that's one part and uh, and I enjoy the competition in practices and in the matches to to see how good you are or how good your teammates are and I think this is a motivation that I will always have. Uh, Tibo, are you going to learn Polish or is it too difficult for you? Is it difficult? But uh, yeah, I think uh, I, I maybe wait for the next season to, to start to learn. We will have a little bit more time, I think. But still, yeah, it's difficult and my only teacher now is Maslo, so <laughs> it's not always good to learn with. <laughs> so, next question. How do you feel in the role of captain? Well, I feel good. I feel okay. I, for me, captain was never a super big thing. Of course, I'm happy that you get the responsibility, um, but not so much changed as a player before or as uh, as captain now. You, in general, I like to watch out for my teammates, see how they feel, and maybe help them in in some situations. And uh, yeah, it's it's an honor, yes, but I don't uh, feel like super much more important. Uh, question: uh, Why is your nickname uh, La Rose? Uh, do you have any other nicknames, or can you explain the meaning? Yeah, one other is Riri. <laughs> My parents call me like this. But yeah, La Rose is more like in French. You add the the, the word La uh, before the the last name. So it's like for Tonyoti, La Tot, uh, for a lot of players like this. You know, we use like this the nickname. So it's really usual, normal in, in France. It's the only explanation <laughs> I have. So, what is your favorite football club? Well, <laughs> I, I like watching football sometimes, but it's not really my favorite sport, so I don't really have a favorite team. Um, I always like, of course, when there are some competitions between countries. Of course, I like to support the German teams. But in general, I'm not the biggest football fan, so there's no no big favorite team. Uh, what changed in two years of playing in Jashov in terms of sports and mental sides of you? Uh, I think I learned uh, a lot in this club. is like bigger than uh, the the organization in France. It's like more structure and 
everything is so it's like for sure it's a little bit more pressure because you feel like there is more people behind you but it's a good way to to improve and also the um, the gym also is uh, is really nice to play a gym we know every time will be a lot of uh, people and fun to to supporters so it's of, of course is a uh, uh, plus of pressure than i had in france but uh, but it's good to to learn and and improve um, would you be able to play for one of the of Rezovia's biggest opponent after all of these years? Well, hard to imagine. It's hard to imagine that one of the big rivals would now in my age buy me. But <laughs> um, of course, I. Well, it's sports and uh, it is a competition, and I know that the Soviet will always have a good team. So it will be a very big, uh, big. Uh, um, big challenge to play against them so I would kind of like it in some ways but it will be a very special match yeah it for sure it's uh, it has a special character these these matches this hard question I think I just say like no I don't know I, I don't want like I don't like to say something new like make me change the the way I, I've been when I was young so I think I just like say to to take the things uh, how they how they will come, you know, like not uh, I, I don't want to try to, to change anything. I just want like to accept what what's going on to me and that's all. Uh, what would your what would your dream team look like? Player from around the world. Also very difficult. There are a lot of great players in all the time. Um, well, players I played with or I played against. I think uh, I would like to play with uh, Jiba and Tetjuchin in reception. Um, Loy Ball as a setter, I really liked. Little blockers. Um, I like Pete Novakovsky and uh, probably Heller from Brazil. A little bit longer ago. <laughs> and uh, Uber Eno as a libero. Yeah, and yeah. I mean, if, if I would have to play in this team, there would be, of course, me as opposite, but the, the opposite I would choose, I think, would be Stanley. Because they, they played good together with ball, so he's one of the, the guys I, I had as a, an idol. Yeah. Uh, which match in Aseko Resovia is the most memorable to you and why? One game is difficult to say one game because you had like I had like lot of game with good emotion or bad emotion, but still like you remember even if it's hard at the end the result, you still have uh, emotion on the game. So one or to say only one game is it's uh, it's difficult for me. So I think like the one we have the big game and with important uh, the result. And the gym is full. Is like uh, the, the 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 game I like because it's it's really intense and you have a lo lot of emotion e even if you lose at the end or if you win. How did you react when you heard that you will be the captain of your team? Well, again, I I was very happy, <laughs> but. It is, uh, like I said, it's an honor, but it's uh, just one. It's just a name for, for the position, and yeah, like I said, I like to watch out for my teammates. Looked at the atmosphere, and everything is is good and in a, in a good way, competitive, competitive way, and yeah, no, but I, but I was happy. Like I said, it's an it's an honor to be captain after after Alec, and yeah. Um, do you have one rule? And what is this rule? You'll never break. 
no, I don't have one rule. <laughs> I, I don't think like this to put me like a uh, rule and something I don't, I cannot cross, you know, I just think like you can change and you can uh, evolve, so I don't have like special rules. Well, where would you like to live after your career ends? Jeshov or any other place? Ooh, it depends what I do after my career also, uh, but I think in general I would like to see a little bit more of the world in, uh, in terms of clubs I played for. I didn't play for so many different clubs and uh, I would like to see a little bit more of different countries or um, and then after I saw a lot of countries then I can decide where where we'll stay, where we have job opportunities and where it's where it's good for my family but uh, at the moment it's it's hard to say but Jashov is one of uh, the places would be in uh, in the top three for sure. The question is, is distance a big obstacle in maintaining good uh, contact with family and friends in France? Um, yes, yeah, like mostly with friends because um, you don't see them really often. My family came, came to see me uh, a few times during these two years, but yeah, it's difficult to have like, it's not difficult to have contact because you know with technology now it's easy, you can call and everything. But uh, it's just the, um, it's just like the feeling to be pretty far from home. So sometimes it's difficult. You just want to go home. But it's like this. The, the, but still, the place where I live here. So I'm happy with this. So it's it's okay. Sorry. How did it happen that you have playing Rezovia for so many re seasons? Or this is your dream place? It's a mix. Uh, in the in the beginning, I. I had only uh, only a one year contract so I arrived and tried to play good and uh, enjoy the season and then it started to get longer and longer and the club trusted me even more and renewed some contracts and uh, and Jeshov felt more and more like my home and of course then it's uh, it's amazing when you feel good in one place and the club also feels good with you and they trust in you so that's how the the contracts keep on going and, and going and yeah so it became six years now that's uh, that's a really long time but I enjoy it all the time and it's it, it's amazing here Tibo, the most difficult Polish word for you most difficult oh, probably you can't say it because it's too difficult but <laughs> I didn't remember. I don't remember the most difficult <laughs> word, but it's a lot of sh sh sh. <laughs> For me, it's really hard to say. So, I, I sometimes heard some word like I, I didn't even know how the guy can pro pronounce it. So I was I, I didn't try to pronounce it, and so for sure I forgot it. Uh, describe yourself in three words. Ooh. Uh. Calm. Uh, long thinker. <laughs> and uh, family guy at the moment. Yeah. Um, how did you like the Polish All Star, the star match? I like it. It was nice uh, experience. Like uh, we don't have this kind of uh, events, uh, games in France, so was uh, was good experience. Like uh, to also to play with uh, the guy from other team, like more um, in in a way like more friendly, more funny, and uh, and have the chance to also talk a little bit with them more than during a regular season. So it was it was. Globally, a really good uh, experience was fun. What is your favorite dish from Polish cuisine? That's easy. For me, it's uh, Żurek. I, <laughs> I like Żurek a lot. I eat it almost everywhere where it's possible. So, yeah, <laughs> that's my thing. Um, oh, again, a little bit. What is your favorite word in Polish? 
and uh, what is that word? And uh, why are pickled cucumbers? Or maybe the your favorite word in Polish. Uh, so my, f I think my, I don't know if it's my favorite word, but uh, the kind of the word I learned the first was Spokonie. <laughs> I learned it, I, I heard it every time. So and was nice to say also. Like I mean, like the pronunciation, I like it. So I was the uh, first year I was saying every time Spokonie, Spokonie, so every time, every situation. <laughs> So, and for what? I don't know for the country. Your favorite Polish food? Yeah, they, they ask if there's Polish cucumber. Yeah, yeah, uh, because this year I tried this uh, uh, Ogorki and uh, <laughs> I really like it. And Maso knew it like he, his grandparents made the uh, homemade Ogorki and they, they bring to me. So now I really like it more because it's really good the, the way they made it. So yeah, I can say like, also I like the Zurek, but I can say like, oh, Gorky, this, this here is really high level. <laughs> uh, so, 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 so. Why did you choose this number on your short number 10? I actually didn't really choose it or chose it. I, I always, in Germany, we always get the numbers like uh, in the alphabetical order. So sometimes I had 9, sometimes 11, and then there was in one team that I got the 10 in the... I think it was the junior national team. And from that moment on, almost every team asked me if I have a number, and I said, no, I don't have a special number, I have the 10 before. And they always gave me the 10, so <laughs> it was nice, and now yeah, it's, it's good that for almost all the career I had the, the same number, so it, it feels good, and I like the number 10. It's and even a good number so <laughs> it's uh, but it was just luck how did you imagine Poland before coming to Zeshov? Uh I, I didn't imagine like like this you know I was a little bit afraid to go uh, to Poland because for me it's like pretty far and also is country from from east side and different culture and so I was a little bit anxious. I think the, the most anxious was my parents that I go that, that, that far. But still after when I arrive, I see like it's really pleasant to live here. Like the people are really open. A uh, lot of people also speak English, so make my uh, integration uh, easier. So yes, that's it. Uh, how did you imagine Poland before coming to Zeshov? Same, huh? Uh, I, I had a little advantage because I I spoke a lot with uh, with Georg Groser before I uh, I signed here and I came here and he told me almost everything and uh, it it was like he like he like he said the the city is nice the city is growing and building it's a student city a lot of um, places where you can go to eat and uh, people are very open so it was like like he described it and. Uh, it was no no surprise, no bad, nor good surprise. It was like he said, so it was a big advantage for me, of course. And uh, what do you miss the most in Poland? What I will miss the most, I mean. Or what do you miss now? What I miss now? Ah. Yeah, like uh, I said, like to <laughs> to to go back home, like because it's been a long time. I haven't been home, so. I think this is the hardest part to, to, to play uh, in a foreign, foreign country, especially when we have a long season and, and uh, I say like uh, not so much uh, time to, to, to have a rest and go, to go home. So this is, yeah, this is, this season is it's what I, I, I miss the most, the, to, to have like maybe just one weekend or three days to, to have time to go back home. And uh, same same question for you. What do you miss the most? Yeah, and almost the same answer. I, <laughs> I guess I think you miss um, the longer you play volleyball and the longer you're away from home. You miss um, the time that you could spend with your family, and because it's a different life, and uh, yeah, especially helping the the people in my life in in Germany. I would like to have more time for that and it's not so much time so this is 
in general not what I miss in Poland but what I miss in uh, in general to be able to help or be more with my mother and to show the kids a little bit more of uh, of my family but um, has nothing to do with Poland it's everywhere the same. <laughs> <laughs>